In the most holy name of Allah, the beneficent, the merciful, I bear witness there is no God but Allah who came to us in the person of Master Farid Muhammad, to whom all praise is forever due. We thank him for raising in our midst the promised Messiah and predicted Christ, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. And we thank them both for their mercy and guidance in our midst, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. I greet all of you in the words of peace of Assalamu alaikum. Uh, brothers and sisters, I'm in the middle of getting all kinds of dental work done, so I hope if I speak with a lisp, just ignore it. But, but I had to come up here this evening to uh, thank you um, as a student of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan for taking time out to be with one another. This is a family. And it is so important that we know we have family support uh, from one another. I was uh, blessed last Friday uh, to represent the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan at his request at a leadership meeting of the UNIA, uh, the Universal Negro Improvement Association, which uh, is the followers of the Honorable Marcus Mosiah Garvey. And that meeting uh, was of their high executive council and other leaders. Now, in the, in the course of the evening, um, I invited them to assist the Nation of Islam here in Chicago in co-hosting along with the followers of Noble Drew Ali, the Moorish Science Temple, to help you and I put on a town hall meeting on the question of separation. And I cannot describe to you how appreciative they were. Uh, it is so important to the followers of the Honorable Marcus Garvey, and they make such a strenuous effort to keep his name alive and to protect his legacy. And all praise is due to Allah that no one has been more effective in keeping his name alive and in front of our people than the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. And I told them, we don't even have a large meeting that the minister doesn't lift his name. Just as he lifts up the names of Noble Drew Ali, of the, uh, Dr. Martin Luther King, the brothers and sisters during the time of our physical bondage, such as Nat Turner and Denmark Vesey, this man Farrakhan is the embodiment of the very best a person can be. And in addition to and along with all of the things that he has given us, he is giving us directly from Allah and his Christ this revelatory course. This is the path to our resurrection. And one of the best parts of it are these last two study guides that we are in right now, 10 and 11, and the letter that comprises the bridge between 10 and 11. 10 being the God within each of us, the God within self, and then 11 being the supreme God, Allah, the true center of everything. And I just wanted to back up tonight briefly to the letter that was dated July 29th of 1987 and the way he ended it. He said, please do not fear to venture beyond your present expression of the wisdom of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. 
if we express this wisdom as babies, then we will only attract other babies to play with us, smile. But if we express ourselves in a mature way, we attract people of wisdom from all over the planet Earth to build with us a new civilization. I expressed to the brothers and sisters last Friday that we need them with us so that we can sit together and chart out how we are going to do this. What do you mean this? I mean separation. Minister Farrakhan stepped directly to the U.S. government in 2017 and said, we will take eight states. Now, how do you and I propose as the ground troops to carry out what the commander-in-chief has said, not only to the enemy whom he gave a last warning to, he said it's a final call to the U.S. government, a final warning to the U.S. government but also it was a final call to black people. February the 17th, 2019, Minister Farrakhan gave the signal to the wise. The wise know after February 17th we are in the actual time of the departure. That was for black people. For the enemy, February 17th was the trigger that the enemy cannot wait any longer to do to the nation of Islam what they are planning to do. The nation of Islam is not the mosque. The mosque is the spiritual center of the nation of Islam. The Nation of Islam is the 40 to 60 million black people who are the descendants of slaves. You and I are charged with calling the tribes of Israel together. You and I have to speak to them with the wisdom of the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad as our beloved says, in a mature way so that we attract our people. We need them to help us build this civilization. You are the elect, not because you and I are better, but because you were chosen and genetically constructed to be able and have the capacity to capture the vision of the kingdom of God. That's why you're in here. You see it. Even if you don't see that you see it. That's what's driving you here because even though there's nothing in the present reality that looks like what Minister Farrakhan is calling us to, you know that it's there. That makes you the point person. And so you and I are charged with the expression of the wisdom and being an example of civilized behavior. But we need the skill sets of all of our people across the spectrum. As the minister said, look at how wise he is. Don't let, he said, the loss of Nipsey Hussle cause us to turn on each other. See, be slow to respond to what can be a trap. We were taught to think five times before we speak. That's because thoughts have to travel through five levels of evolution before they are fit to come out of the mouth of a civilized person. Because initial thoughts begin on the reptilian level at the base of urges. And then they move up through emotion, through the intellect, through the various spiritual levels. 
And ultimately, what comes out of our mouth reveals to everyone which level won the battle to make it to the top. There's only one I. Jesus said to the demons, peace be still, know that I am God. That's what enabled him to walk on water. So embody in the honorable minister, Louis Farrakhan, who, as we were talking about in our meeting, never fails to introduce himself as a student of the honorable Elijah Muhammad. And we need to do that. That's why I thought of it tonight, because I don't always do that. The honorable Elijah Muhammad is not my teacher. I want to say that again. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad is not my teacher because if he were my teacher and I was his student, I would be as effective in my sphere as the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan is in his sphere. If I'm lucky, I will be able to become a student of the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan who already is the manifestation of how man becomes God in our midst. And all praise is due to Allah. So in this hour, beloved, we cannot be conflicted over the minister. Don't let anybody scare you away by calling you a cult follower. Yeah, Negroes calling you a cult follower, a slave, a dead person. Okay. You can't accept the message if you haven't accepted the man delivering the message. You have to answer this question that comes up in your own mind. Am I listening to a pure vessel? And the answer is you are. The real test, as Brother Jabril Muhammad has said to us in so many ways in his beautiful writings, is can we discern and accept the humanity and the divinity in a single human being? God is a man, and he wrote that in this study, God. He said the most profound statement that the Honorable Elijah Muhammad ever made is God is a man. And that's why we thank Master Father Muhammad for coming and destroying the spook God. So may Allah continue to bless us. I want to thank all of you. I see my colleagues here from the Executive Council. I want to thank, uh, and I really want to thank Brother Burby Muhammad for the Office of the National Secretary's powerful support of the town hall meetings on separation. And let me say this real quick. These town hall meetings are not a lecture series. That question Should blacks consider separation? Consider is to give careful thought to something you are about to decide. It's not just thinking. It's reflecting on something you're about to decide. It is time for black people to go one way or the other. Number five, we know number four what the Muslims want. But in number five, The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said he wants black people to choose. We're not dragging nobody, kicking and screaming, but we're also not staying here another minute. We're done. We are out of here. We're not going down with Sodom and Gomorrah. Master Father Muhammad came here by himself not to sit around and look at basketball games, though I have watched the playoffs, (laughs) but to take us out from under Pharaoh. So the town hall meetings are a mercy, and I'll tell you real quick in what way they are. They're a mercy 
so that our people don't get caught off guard. When Minister Farrakhan steps to some podium somewhere in the very near future and says we're taking a vote, we are holding a referendum on the subject of separation. Black people love to vote. We giving black people something to vote on, on the real, okay? Now, this means that a certain number will say yes. So the question is, are we ready for that answer? Because some of us in the nation think separation is a theory or a concept. I have believers say, oh, we're doing that for real? <laughs> But some of us, we re we're like, oh, my God, I got car payments. I, do they have Netflix in this territory? And <laughs> what am I going to do about my job? See, when God gives the call through his servant, that's it. So it's best to prepare ourselves mentally. And the more prepared we are mentally, the easier it will be to get this done physically. But very quickly, I have to thank our... Uh, student coordinators, Brother Dr. Robert Muhammad, Brother Amin Muhammad, Brother uh, Shahid. Where's Sister Bahia? Our young, beautiful student minister, Sister Bahia. Where's Brother uh, Carl Muhammad? Brother Carl. Sis, uh, Brother Billy Muhammad. Sister Gail. Sister Jamila Muhammad, Brother Ibrahim Muhammad, there in the back, uh, Sister Stacy and Brother Robert, and of course, Brother Troy. They work very hard to make sure that you have a quality experience in line with the methodology, because Minister Farrakhan structured these study circles so that they can save you. So we can't just uh, come in here in a lackadaisical way. Come here prepared to expose your thoughts. And when someone is exposing thoughts, beloved, as a family member, all of us, the tribe of Shabazz, being redeemed, we have to accept our brother and sister as they are. So may Allah continue to bless us with love and the light of understanding. As-salamu alaykum. Wow.